I'm Deb Moore, Craft Publications Director at Leisure Arts. We're so excited to bring you the new Stitch and Paint technique. It combines simple back stitching on cross stitch fabric with watercolor painting. I'm so excited. It's so quick and easy to do. I think you'll love it too. Here to explain how is Kathy Elrod, one of our talented in-house designers and a creator of this technique. Kathy? Thanks, Deb. One of the great things about this technique is that most of the supplies can be found in your own kitchen. You'll need wax paper, paper towels, a few containers of clean water, a foam plate to use as a paint palette. The only art supplies necessary are a child set of watercolor paints and some paint brushes in various sizes. After choosing your design, the first thing you do is backstitch the outline. We suggest you use an extra strand of floss, so for our project, we use two strands. Next, you need to set up your work surface. We put down a sheet of wax paper to protect our work area, and in between the wax paper and our stitched piece, we have an absorbent layer of white paper towel. If you use a printed paper towel, you run the risk of some of that color bleeding off onto your fabric once it gets wet. Now we're ready to paint. Sometimes you'll find the exact one is in your paint palette. Sometimes you may have to blend more than one color to get the perfect color. We'll start off with the easiest first. Get that surface good and wet and enough paint that you can start transferring over to your palette. I recommend that you not go back to your water bowl too often because we do want this to be a nice consistency. Get that surface good and wet and enough paint that you can start transferring over to your palette. To apply the paint to your stitched piece, start in the center of the area you're painting and place your paint there and then push it out toward the stitch lines. we finished painting all of our orange and we're ready to go to the second color. For this color we're going to blend two colors and get just exactly what we want on the piece. So we'll start with our base color. We want as much yellow as we can get on our palette and then we'll blend a small amount of orange into it until we reach the desired color. So we'll take another a clean brush we'll go into the orange. I'm going to use the same process we're going to make this pool right here close to our yellow. Okay. And we'll try blending our color. So that we can drag the orange into the yellow until we get the color we like. Now we're going to test a small amount of our newly blended paint. See how our color works and that looks great. Stitching paint is as quick and easy as it looks, but should you encounter a problem, we have a few troubleshooting tips for you. For instance, if you took your color directly to your piece and found out that it looked too dark, quickly blot it with your white paper towel and you can lift most of the color from the fabric. This gives you another shot and getting exactly what you want. If you want to darken an area after you've finished your piece, then you can always go back over your dry paint and add a second coat. If you add just more wet paint on top of wet paint, you run the risk of bleeding outside your stitch lines. We created this Fun in the Sun collage that fits perfectly in an 8x10 purchase frame. No custom framing necessary. Thanks, Kathy. That really is easy. Everybody ought to be able to do it. Leisure Arts has two new great stitch and paint leaflets coming out soon. Look for these in your local craft store or at our website at www.leisurearts.com. Look for more podcasts coming soon.